Let's roll. Hello everyone, welcome to the Jenkins Infrastructure Weekly Team Meeting. We are the 21 of November 2023. And around the table today, we have self Damien Duportal, Hervé Lemeur, Stéphane Merle, Bruno Verharten, and Kevin Martins. Let's get started with announcements. The new weekly release, I already forgot the number. Uh, it's 2.433. Um, we have the war released properly, packages released and pushed to mirrors. Um, we are retaining the Docker image build now. Hervé and I have an operation to, to do on the Windows Docker images for the, from last week LTS, only for Windows. And once it's done, we will create the tag build and push the images. It's not done yet. It should be done, uh, let's say, 30 minutes after our meeting. So we'll have a message on Jenkins release uh, channel. That's it. Retain as a Windows image retagging is required before. Uh, what's the status on the change log part for you, Kevin? Uh, it's ready. To, it's set to auto merge now. So uh, as soon as it, it finishes doing its checks, it'll merge. Cool. So I propose, Stefan, that you wait for tomorrow to upgrade in CI. Is that okay for you? It's perfect. Thank you. Do you have other announcements, folks? I don't either, so let's look the upcoming calendar. First of all, next release last week, next week as usual. Uh, next LTS, I don't know when is the next LTS since we had one last week. Um, uh, and A, up. Do we have advisories announced? We don't have any advisory announced. So an A also. And next major event, let me copy past from last week. Uh, because I'm lazy. <laughs> Um, if you don't mind, I'm going back to the announcement because we had uh, we have an announcement. We were able to release a LTS last week, right? Um, I've already forgotten the number. Okay. Oh, I was right. Released last week. Um, we had an issue should ring the Windows packaging. Um, scaling up the Windows uh, Kubernetes node failed with no abuse error. Fixed by manually scaling up. Uh, we're not sure why did we had that issue. So after more or less 20 minutes, we saw that the Windows environment wasn't up. So we had to manually scale and relaunch the build, which was already failed. There were weird errors. Looks like AKS had some issue. Uh, and restarting the packaging build fixed the problem. So again, we know what to do here. Uh, that should be a program of switching from Windows container to Windows virtual machine, because a Windows virtual machine takes two to three minutes to start. Uh, it's way faster than scaling up, than pulling an image, etc. But that might need a bit of test uh, beforehand. So yeah, uh, we know to do it. It's not that problem. It happened on half of the LTS release. I don't know why only on LTS on weekly, usually it works very well. So maybe Wednesday is a bad day, I don't know. Uh, no other infra issue, 
everything else uh, went really fine. Thanks uh, everyone for the help on deploying that new version to the infrastructure on CI, release, trusted and third CI. Um, following that, that update, I saw the GCASC change log. We had some hiccups, uh, configuration hiccups on GCASC along with both new appearance section and Datadog plugin. So we have to be careful to check uh, the GCAS configuration for on Puppet because I don't think we have been able yet to fix it. So Stefan Hervé, have in mind that we should avoid and restrain ourselves to update plugin on CI Jenkins I on the other until we have checked uh, that the new appearance section has been updated like it was on, on uh, Kubernetes. Uh, I think uh, if it's okay for you, we'll open a new issue, uh, new issue for pet controllers. Is that clear or do you want clarification on this one? Okay, what do we have else on LTS? Do you have something else on the LTS, folks? Okay, so back. Uh, let's go on the work that we were able to to finish or close. Uh, let's start with login details forgotten. Uh, no work there. Oh, Hervé. I saw you were able to change the closure. Should I be able to? Oh, yeah. I can close as not planned. You have to click on it. Yeah, that's what I done. Oh, sorry. No, oh, no, okay. To okay, I understand. Things. Okay. Okay. Good catch. Thanks. Okay, so that issue moved to the next section. Uh, we had a user who wanted to have their account deleted. Um, yeah, it's not automated. It's one of the numerous flows of accounts Jenkins IO. Uh, you cannot remove, so we need to be careful on this one. In that case, there was a doubt about the person because they were claiming to have this email, which wasn't the email inside uh, their LDAP account. So we had to explain multiple times that he had to access the account and change the email and then answer to the email I sent to the private email or to prove uh, by, um, by changing uh, things. And in the end, they were able to confirm and change the email. So they had both access to the account and they were able to access the email and answer my emails on the private and the new one. So we removed the account. Always be careful because we have people trying to social engineer uh, accounts here. And that could be an account takeover of a plugin maintainer. So we have to be careful on that. Any question? Okay, so we were able to finish the update on LTS for all the accounts, uh, all the controllers, as we mentioned earlier. Again, two issues closed around Jenkins account. That's always the same. We explain and no more answer at all. So we close them. Now let's roll on the work in progress. Uh, let's start with update center. Hervé, can I let you report on that topic for everyone, please? Yes, so um, we've got uh, our last test uh, up and running. The crawler is also updating uh, our file share and our buckets. Uh, the pull request to, um, to add uh, the synchronization to update center job uh, is ready for review. Um, these additional things are behind uh, an opt-in flag. So we can merge it and use it when we want. We'll probably have to plan a brownout to test it in, uh, in situ. And uh, yeah, um, that's most of it. 
امين Sorry, I was muted. Nice, that's clear. Uh, that's a really good news. Functional test um, is success. Even though oh, yeah. sorry, we had sorry. even though we had different behavior between Jenkins UI and Jenkins plugin CLI, which was expected somehow. So Jenkins begin CLI. So next steps, as you said, uh, verify update center to once per is merged. So just a reminder, you wrote it, but don't forget backups on the on the PKG VM. Uh, as you said, plan a brownout. Yeah, and start the reduction of the yep. ship. Which should happen before even yep. planning the brownout. You have to start. If we get enough uh, approval on the Jeff Craft, and also for later or in parallel uh, performance test of the new mirror bits. Is that okay for you, folks? Yeah, we'll have also uh, um, to not forget uh, copying uh, the outdated uh, plugins uh, tools installer. Um, mm. There are two tools installer crawler. Uh, which are not working anymore. So these are not in uh, the generated content and we have to ensure we've got an uh, initial copy of them. Fly yeah. installer and... Installer. Which and per uh, installer. No, Flyway it's... installer and per installer. Yeah, you, you, you did already yeah. had uh, an item on the issue, on the issue right? Uh, I've reported it in on the issue, yes. Oh, a scroller does not update this too. Cool. Okay, so uh, I let you report this fifth five element. Do you have other elements in the UC? No, just to note that we disabled um, the automatic uh, scan. Uh, which was set with a cron on your orbits because since the update center job will run every three minutes, it fell if there are already a scan in progress. So we have to, we don't need the cron scan. Avoid errors. Don't run. Good, good one. That was an hypothesis uh, we initially I initially stated that we don't care, but in fact it's creating a lot of reproducible error because uh, every three minutes, if there is the five minutes automatic uh, an instance at the same time, it failed the job. So better since we update every three minutes, that doesn't make sense to have a background async one. Better to have it synced with the update center generation every three minutes. And also the last point in the Pull request. I've also added the ability to add uh, many buckets. For now, we only have one, but uh, as these uh, bucket synchronization are running in parallel, it shouldn't impact the total job time. Nice. Okay, which mean. Um... Plan adding a US East one. Let's say US East mirror. So we will start and put in production, at least during the brownout, a new update center with two different mirrors one for US 
because today it's already on the US list. Well, so we don't want to change the latency of the US users. However, European users should benefit from the initial uh, brownouts because they would already have a West Europe, which is what we have today. And in the future, we can add more. Is that okay for everyone? Any question, clarification? Okay, cool. Uh, let's continue with IRM64 migration. Stefan, your turn. Yes. Uh, from the top of my head, I, I did move the all the, um, the three, um, I forgot the name, I'm sorry. Yeah, I need that. Plugin site, plugin site issue and plugin site API to the uh, IRM64 node pool. Um, and I uh, tried this morning to move the CI, the weekly CI Jenkins.io, but it seems that I was not patient enough. So we'll try again after that meeting. You also migrated HTTPD and oh yeah, Ersync Ersync for the new UC chart. You see, it's update center for the non-used people. And so the last. The last mile for that uh, issue is weekly CI later today. Nice. Uh, next step after this issue. So you've opened two new issues about that. Is that correct? Yes. So we will have to state. The first one is infra CI migration to IRM64. And the other one is CI Jenkins IO. I propose that this new issue will be stated and added on the milestone or not a bit later. It's just that um, operationally, that will be the next steps. I also have a next step on top, uh, on top of my mind that I haven't uh, mentioned earlier. Um, public. Uh, gates resize not pools because we used to have big intel machines and we started with tiny rm machines that were scaled uh, uh, quite often i think we have now seven machines running oh yeah uh one for the technical services two intel and four rm now the intel are almost empty while the ARM are packed. So the goal will be to decrease the size of the Intel machine, increase the size of the ARM machine, and then resize. That will be a separated uh, issue to be done, but that will have a direct impact on the bill. Is, does it make sense? Is that clear? Yes, yes, it's, it's perfectly clear. Cool. Um, I, we can take care of writing the issue, both of us in pair. I don't mind writing it because you already did the heavy work here. Add this there for now. And we'll come on after. Uh, okay. Is that all for RM64? Or do you have other points to add, things, things you learned? Oh, things I learned a lot, but... No, nothing to add. Yep. Okay. Uh, next step, it's the contributor. Where is that? Okay. Hervé, your turn. Yeah. Uh, I haven't, I have no progress to report for now. Uh, I'll work on it this week. Okay. Okay. Um, same for the digital sun renewal. Sorry, I was traveling. Uh, same status, no progress to report, and I need to write the mail and make you validate the email. Any question? Okay, so now I got some report to do though on setting up the secondary Azure subscription. 
First of all, permissions, all set. Human admins, so you should all be able to access the subscription and service principles. So the service principles are technical accounts used by your automated system to manage uh, Azure resources through Terraform or Jenkins to Azure. Um, for, for, um, so that's a good thing. And that also demonstrated the ability to have a single Terraform project manipulating resources on two different subscriptions at the same time. Uh, for that, we use uh, two different providers. They both have the same ID, Azure RM for Azure Resource Manager, but one have a specific subscription. And for each resource that you define on Terraform, you have to select the secondary, the new subscription provider. Otherwise, it's the default one. So I've kept the default one right now, and you must explicitly set resources to be created on the new subscription system. Virtual network for public zone uh, created. So that was second step on Azure Net project, uh, created a new public network with a subnet and it's paired with the actual one, even if it's a different subscription. This actual one. Peering to network allows requests to, to be sent or to traverse, to, to cross both by staying internal. It's as if you had two subnets uh, without having to go through the internet and paying for the bandwidth. We still have a fee for the whole bandwidth and gateway data, but it's close to nothing. It's 10 to 15 bucks per month. That allows us to have a machine on the current public network to be able to communicate with the new public network. For public. So now the work in progress is creating resources to allow CI Jenkins IO to spin up agents in the new binet of the new subscription. Uh, that one is taking quite some time because uh, I've had to, let's say, to uh, increase the but to, to fine tune the modules we use in Terraform to define controllers, agent and stuff. Uh, I, there is an open pull request in draft that is being reviewed that should do the trick. And then I should be able to start creating resources by adding a new code to the module, but on the new provider. Uh, initially I wanted to do it manually, but the risk of errors in copy and pasting were too high. So right now it's a big Terraform module split, uh, but that looks to look really, really, really good. And if it works as expected, uh, we should be able in less than half a day to also do the same for trusted and third CI. So all the, these workloads could move immediately to the new subscription on peer networks. I'm really happy with the outcome, honestly. Then next step, Rested CI and third CI workloads. That's all for this one. Uh, the goal is to be able to decrease the bill and see that we can consume a bit of, of data on the new subscription on November and be able to pay the sponsorships with the sponsor credits. Any question? Cool. Uh, let's continue. Hervé, uh, I saw you were able to start diagnosing, doing some diagnostics with the plugin, uh, plugin site build failing on Infra CI. Can you report with us to help? Uh, I'm still diagnosing it because build is really flaky. Uh, only one build. Uh, of five is passing the yarn fetch uh, step. So it's a bit difficult to reproduce error. I've got it on afra.ci.jenkins.io. Currently looking at difference between uh, ci.jenkins.io and afra.jenkins.io uh, afra environment difference. Uh, 
I might have found something around ISTF home environment variable, which is mm -hmm. set to TMP on CI Jenkins.io and to home Jenkins on afra.ci. And I'm wondering if ISTF has a right to have on the home dash Jenkins. Order. So I'm well, looking at it right now. The good news is I've uh, successfully got a build running on CI.Jenkins.io without using uh, Docker in the pipeline. So um, if when I put the infra build running, I'll probably merge to pipeline in one. And remove the Docker requirement on CI, the Jenkins that I own. Good job. Thanks. Is there any question? Things to confuse? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was about uh, the contributor spotlight feature repo, but a uh, question for Kevin, I've asked him. Um, it's, uh, yeah, we can, it can wait later. I, I was thinking about the duplication of image or the avatar, for example. They are duplicated in a static and a source folder in the repo, but I'll see that later when I put in place the uh, thanks, Stefan. Uh, can you report for the Scaleway sponsorship? Oh, I haven't uh, done much. Just calling few uh, few contacts in there, but uh, I I have to fulfill a form that I have not done. But yes, the, mm -hmm. the contact said okay. to wait a little because of that event they had, huge event, and everyone was focused on it. We had a big event last week. In France. We for president. Yes. I mean, good news. Their event had President Macron um saying that the open source was important uh, speaking about open source yeah i said mark that he he, he used his uh, presentation in new york to uh, deal with the open source uh, good way of working that macron said that mark had a good uh, way of presenting the open source it's too bad he's not here <laughs> But that's the good news. I mean, uh, with the the marketing and the noise it's doing, let's fulfill the open source program now and push the contact. Say, hey, we are open source. And the president of the country that us that is a company say that's good. So uh, do you want to help? Because that's real life help, right? We'll see. Uh, Kevin, were you able to work a bit on the... A Chinese website, or is it uh, still a uh, work in progress? Uh, so I followed, I, I forked the Helm charts, Kubernetes management, and cn.jenkins.io repos, and followed the instructions in the Jenkins.io Helm chart configuration. Uh, the instructions were a little off, so Hervé was able to help me figure out where the build archive zip file would end up and how to get that. But uh, I had a couple of issues trying to set it up, so I changed course and I started researching the rewrite uh, function and how that would work for us. Uh, so mm -hmm. I ended up um, finding a handful of like Stack Overflow questions, Reddit threads, other resources that were explaining uh, the rewrite call. So uh, yeah, so I actually understand how that works now, kind of a little bit. Uh, so <laughs> um, 
so Mark hasn't had a chance to set it up for, uh, the last time I spoke with him, at least. He still needs to do a little bit of work there. He still needs to do that on his end. Um, but yeah, I think uh, at this point, we're probably going to need another session to go mm -hmm. over it with you some more. And uh, yeah. Yeah, don't hesitate to ask if you need any explanation or help. Of course. Cool. Good job, folks. Thanks for the help, everybody, on this one. Uh, Stefan, your turn. Again. Gus. Oh, Gus. Um, yes, I did move all the sanity check from the Linux port from the shell uh, script to the to GOS. So we got a GOS Linux file and I updated all the uh, update CLI manifest to point on that new uh, file. So it's done. Um, next step is to check on the Windows part and do the same. So moving all the, the rest residual, the leftovers of, of checks to GOS Windows and then to update all the update CLI manifests. And uh, and after that, uh, we would have to factorize and and get out uh, every every common parts to a common file, goes common. And and of course, after that, update all the update CLI manifest again. It's kind of time consuming all that. Okay. On my side, I have to report that uh, I had to do a quick fix up on, on uh, one of the updated CLI manifests. Oh, I did a mistake. Uh, no, you forgot the Git version. Oh, and it's fixed. Okay. Uh, because there is a new 2.43.0 Git version for both Linux and Windows that has been released recently. It's already available. I guess there might be a security issue we haven't checked yet. Uh, and it's it has been merged on Packer Image and I realized that, uh, yeah, uh, we forget it for Linux. Uh, so just have it in mind for Windows that you might have to add uh, Git as well. Okay. Not a problem. I mean, uh, given the list of tools, forgetting one tool is highly probable. So it, that's... That's absolutely normal. There is no problem. And as soon as we catch it, we, we fix it. That's the only uh, important thing. No, I'm pretty sure it's, it's uh, Bruno's fault. That's fine. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> I'm joking. OK. Um, I try to delay as much as possible uh, waiting for Mark. Uh, first of all, was not working so his vpn was not working so for the lts required uh team help so i had to help mark did not have time with him to check more check with him on his windows machine i believe there is months configuration or something um vpn search is uh, signed and deployed. So I believe there is misconfiguration on client side or an unplanned issue. Uh, last one, plugin install stats. Uh, I haven't followed. It was between Mark and Spinnick. And I believe no work was done since last week. So no progress to report. So unless I'm mistaken, all the issues from the current milestone uh, need to be moved uh, to the next milestone because we should work on all of them. Is that okay for everyone? Okay. Um, new issues. Uh, that we should assess if we have if we are able to work on them or not. Um, new issues. Here we are. First of all, IRM sixty four. Uh, Stefan. Yes. 
Infra CI RM64 not pool. Do you feel like you can start working on this on the upcoming milestone, given I, the current workload? I think so, yes. Okay. Not the second one, but the first one, yes. Start to work on it. So I'm adding it to the new milestone and I'm removing the tray age then. Second issue. Uh, thanks for opening both of them. So the second issue requires some work from Bruno. <laughs> you volunteered for this one, Bruno. You didn't know, but yes. I'm sure you already did the work. Uh, the goal is to test a plugin build on a pull request on CI Jenkins IO for using a Linux RM64 virtual machine. Yeah, I have migrated one plugin for the time being, just to test. Oh, and it's already working. Yep. Okay. So let me add it to the milestone then. No assignation, not tray edge. May I ask you, Bruno, to add a comment linking to the plugin or the pull request you tried? So we have a, a workload that, oh, okay, we know that it should work at least on that plugin. Yes, for sure. Cool. Stefan, you, you are uh, volunteering to help Bruno. Uh, just pleasure. to help him <laughs> reporting on this one. <laughs> no, you, you, you mean just making sure that he not forget to do this. Okay. Um, okay, I'm removing the milestone. We won't have uh, much effort to, to spend on this one uh, so that uh, Stefan can focus on, on Infra CI first. But yeah, if, if you can already report the work done by Bruno on this one, that will help. So when we will take it in one or two weeks, we should be able to continue. Great. Is that good for everyone? No, oh, Mark is there. Hello, Mark. Um, let's finish the issue and then we can uh, we can ask question to Mark. I don't see any new issues here. Um. So I it I need to was, write. Was the issue that I had raised? Oh no, it wasn't there. I'm sorry. Nothing. Excuse me. It was a documentation okay. thing. Different. No problem. Uh, so I got a few issues to write. Migrate to the new Helm chart and use RM64 for its HTTPD and RSYNC. So um, get Jenkins IO uses a leg, what I call a legacy mirror bit chart. And the update center uh, work that surveyed it uh, shows that the new mirror bits parent chart, which is a, a composition of sub charts, is now the way to go. We invested time and effort on the new charts, and that new chart al allows, as Stefan demonstrated this week, to run separately HTTP and on the on IRM64, while mirror bits remains on Intel until we have an official IRM support for it. So we need to migrate get Jenkins IO to that new short. Uh, that operation can have impact on get Jenkins IO, so it has to be announced. And the migration needs to be done carefully, even though the risk of losing data is not a problem, because uh, we have a ready space, and the ready space can be uh, is updated on each mirror bit scan. So we run a scan, we wait 10 minutes, and it's OK. And the uh, data, the persistent data is on um, uh, Azure volume, which is which won't lost any data. At all. So there is a low risk, but it can have an effect on get Jenkins IO uh, starting to serve requests uh, slowly because it has to go to the fallback. Another issue to be written, of course. Um, issue ah we we had something earlier today yeah public gates node resize stefan i will need your help to i will try to co-write this with you so again the goal is now that we have migrated a lot of workloads to rm64 we need to study the sizing of the machines and the sc horizontal scaling to have the the best pricing as for today, given the current workloads. 
the first step is to is to uh, use smaller Intel to lower the price first, and yep. then smaller in for nodes. Check for RM sixty four nodes. Size and amount changes. That's the goal uh, to see if we are able to have the promises of RM sixty four saying, "Hey." Five to ten percent decrease of the cost. I don't have any other new issues. Uh, Bark, just a reminder: if you haven't seen the message for the weekly release, packages and war were released. Uh, Kevin did the work on the change log, so it should be done soon if it's not already. However, Hervé and I have retained the Docker image tag creation because we need to first do a few operation on the Windows LTS images before taking the risk of building the new weekly and accidentally override the tag. Mm -hmm. Thank uh, you. We will, we will report on the channel. So yeah, it's just delayed a few hours, but we should work on it uh, right now. The date for the next weekly is wrong. It's 28th November. Good catch. That's unfixed. Thank you. Do you have new issues or thing you want to mention? So, so one that's worth mentioning here, not an issue for us, but you should be aware. I received a request from Steve Chin of uh, JFrog asking, hey, could the Jenkins project please publish an attribution on the download page? So www.jenkins.io slash downloads um, that notes that we use JFrog to store our binary artifacts. I've submitted a ticket to the Jenkins.io site to do that and explain to Steve that downloads.jenkins or that www.jenkins.io slash downloads actually is, does not use, oh, you had it. You already got this. Okay, so I'm wasting time telling you something you've already processed. No problem, uh, no. Credits, credits due to Hervé. Uh, we already uh, uh, let, uh, let us know on this one. Great. Yeah. So, so the, the, the long, the long discussion I was about to do is unnecessary. Excellent. Yes, we will. I think we should do it. I think, and unless there are objections from others, I'll pl plan to go ahead and be the one to implement it with some description of our mirroring infrastructure and attribution for each of our mirror providers as well. Absolutely good idea. So Tsinghua, OSU, OSL, Yamagata, Aachen, Belnet, X Mission, etc. They're all, we're deeply grateful to all of them. And Cloudflare. Um, yes, yes. And, and when Cloudflare is implemented, we'll put Cloudflare there as well. And we yep. should put Cloudflare on updates.jenkins.io. That... Digital Ocean, because it's hosting archives.jenkins.io since oh, two months oh, now. Oh, yes. Oh, I had forgotten that one. Thank you. Okay, very good. Right. Of today's meeting. Also at Digital Ocean. Right, because they host archives.jenkins.io. Yes. yes, thank you. I had forgotten that. Thanks very much. No problem. Cool. Don't hesitate to ask a review from everyone from the team. I believe uh, everyone from the team should take time on the pull request that Mark will have to check that uh, it runs properly and we don't forget any sponsor. Well, and, and I think I want to do a separate page that talks about our mirroring system, right? Because I think it's a, it's a nice piece of technology that we're using with links to mirror bits, with a highlight of how grateful we are for their involvement as a project and ongoing development. Yeah, yeah. it's attribution on that page and then links elsewhere to a longer description about this is why we mirror and it, it's crucial that we do so. Thanks. Cool. I don't have anything else. Mark, just to confirm um, the statistics issue, no progress to report. I haven't uh, seen any message no, or changes. No, no progress to report. And I consider it low risk. Therefore, it will probably be a while before I make progress. So you're welcome to drop it from the, from the specific um, okay. milestone if you need to. Okay. Done. 
Thanks. And mm -hmm. about the VPN, I assume you didn't have time to check. I didn't have time to spend on either any member of the team. Right. To that one can also you. be dropped from the uh, any milestone because I, I, my need for it turned out to not be as crucial because the weekly, the LTS release was so successful. Okay. I believe we should still ensure that sure. you have VPN access. Agreed I still wholeheartedly. Think we, should, uh, we should close that issue. Uh, with success. Mm -hmm. I agree. Okay, I don't have any other topic. Is that the case for you? Do you have something else to add, folks? Nothing else from me. Okay, so I'm gonna stop screen sharing. I'm gonna stop recording. So goodbye for people watching us.